Hello and welcome to a new game. This is called Birthday of the Beginnings. In which we will uh, sort of help create life. And see life evolve in our little uh, cube world here. This guy is supposed to be me. <laughs> the little red guy. I skipped a little bit. Uh, because the first part was a tutorial about how to move about and the controls are a little bit weird But that's because this is a console port, I guess And I'm just using the mouse and keyboard. Maybe the controller will be more useful, but I'll try that uh, sometime offline and see if that works a little better. Although I did get around fine uh, So far we got two new life types the phytoplankton zooplankton and we're have uh, our first organism I guess this is stromatolite <laughs> and uh, we got a reward and as a reward we got some sort of a uh, spark of life kind of thing we're supposed to make cyclomedusa or basically ancestral jellyfish they live in high temperature seas and float along the water surface eating plankton. Okay. Approach the stromatolites and use the seed of life. Uh. Okay, and we're going into micro mode. This is macro mode. Where you see it uh, from a distance and you can't really do anything and just uh, observe. And if you go into macro mode, you can see things and you can also alter the terrain while in this mode. See, you can zoom in and out and all kinds of things. And I'm supposed to use the item here. The seed of life, a mysterious seed that can create animals from plants, greatly reduces the time it takes for animals to form. Okay, so I guess we'll use it on these guys here. Uh, use item. There you go. Yay. Oh, now go back to macro mode and let time unfold. Well, we won't be seeing much from this far off, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, we have to forward the time. There you go. Ah, uh, look at the years go by. Whoa! We got stuff on this uh, pool here as well. Everything is going smoothly here, a seed of evolution. This item induces evolution in organisms. By using it on a life form, you can turn it into its evolved form. Okay. This is even evolution to make a cellulunia out of stromato light. It's another uh, creature, I guess. Seaweed, okay. Protozoica. It's also educational. Uh, if you believe in evolution, I guess. <laughs> uh, first, enter micro mode and find the stromato light. Okay. Once you find a stromato light, put your cursor over it and use the seed of evolution. Just like we just did. Didn't we just do that? Okay. Actually, even if you don't use the seed, some lunia will appear under the right condition. If you can birth an organism without using items, something good might happen later. Okay. You can move on. So we could just wait. I guess. Ah, uh, just... just Uh, yeah, we got more of that stuff right here. I think we got something in the pool here. Whoa. <laughs> no, that's not what I wanted to do. Now we got a mountain. Okay. Yeah, look, we got more life now here. Oh, you can see the little uh, shadow of this guy here. That's kind of cool. 
So we got this. And a seed that promotes evolution in the capture 15 organisms that will appear in the cube. Not quite sure what that means, but. Uh, oh. <laughs> Oh wait, we need to capture this guy here. Come, come. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here. No, 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 no. No, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> and the B is a capture. Yeah. There you go. But it captured them all, I guess. There it is, primitive jellyfish that float through hot seas, consuming plankton. They can be found near stromatolites, which is sort of... Uh, does it have eyes? <laughs> There's all kinds of stats here. We won't be bothering with right now. Okay. So... I can't use it on that guy, can I? There you go. I'm not quite sure that was the thing I was supposed to do, but now all my items are gone. And now this is appearing on the surface. Is it. F <laughs> Look at him. He's sort of floating in the air. Uh. Let's see, now I should go back to macro mode. And we can fast forward time. Whoa! Oh no! The hell is that? Wait, oh, stop! Let us take a look what has happened. Hmm. Whoa, that was a new item, wasn't it? Seed of mutation creates mutated forms of organism using the seed of light, life or seed of evolution and it will appear in the Cube. Okay. We see it. Oh, we've got something new to capture here. Yay! This is El Rathia, a trilobe native to high temperature shallows. It scuttles along the ocean floor and lives among Salunia. Yay! Ah, this is much better. I can use the uh, uh, WASD and the uh, cursor keys. Is there anything else new that we can... Uh oh, there's a little guy there. We zoom in, that would be kind of cool. Uh, let's get rid of this. Eh, we'll get used to the controls. I want to evolve the other uh, guy there. Seed of mutation. Yeah? Anything else that we can capture? There's a red dot there. Yeah, there isn't much here yet. Uh, make this a little bit more shallow than the other things, I guess. Yeah, let's go back to uh, I2 favorites. Okay. Close this and then go back to macro mode. 
We got a couple of new things. El Refia, Cyclo, Medusa, those are the... And these things are now gone, I guess. The little skulls next to them. I guess they didn't succeed. And they died. Such is the struggle of life. Uh, start time. Let's see what happens. Seed of mutation has emerged in the cube. Not sure what is happening now, but... <laughs> we'll just let it run for a little bit and see what happens. Meanwhile, my HP is uh, decreasing. Now the El Rafia stuff is going down. Okay, we'll take a look. Oh, we got some new items. Let's take a look what we got. Oh, we got two seeds of mutation. Okay. Let's use one on this. And let's use one on... Oh. I can't use it on the little thing here that's floating. That kind of sucks. Uh, <laughs> the water is starting to become green. Oh, there you go. Let's use it on this thing as well. Oh, you can see it's a little shadow here. That's kind of cool. There was also a view mode, but I can't remember. Well, oh well, there's game info too, you can save it, save your data, uh, confirm, oh, ah, there you go, birth of Selunia. And I can't escape this window. Okay. <laughs> we'll save it again. <laughs> oh, this is everything that we did so far. Placing an object, object lists, widening rivers, information. Macro mode. Oh, and here's all kinds of st episode results. Episode clear, cleared without a seed of evolution. Okay, so we're now doing this one, birth of selenium, birth of selenium, water 48 degrees, shallows, medium, 4,000 storm light. Okay. And we'll just fast forward time, I guess. We'll Another seed of mutation, Cyclone Medusa. My HP is almost gone. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Well. Oh, there's a yellow thing there. Uh, up top. another item there we can use it on this guy here seed of mutation and then hope that that will do the thing that it needs to do <laughs> oh there's another thing there let that one evolve I wonder what happens is the mission over if we hit uh, it might. That's which sort of <laughs> be the point of it. What are the red dots, though? It's the thing that scuttles on the 
<laughs> the surface there on the bottom of the ocean I guess nothing is really happening in this one all my items are gone now so I uh, will see what happens if the uh, HP counter gets to the end. I'm gonna see the mutation. Oh, I got the HP just started all over again. Well, it's taking a while before this new life form appears. Uh, <laughs> maybe I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> Let's, uh... Oh, no. This, uh, yeah. Seems to be doing the same thing all over again. Well, we don't want the game info. We'll pick up the items again. Whoa. Nothing is happening here. Uh, oh, we got another seeds of mutation. Maybe if we... Could we... <laughs> Not sure that's gonna help though. Yeah. Whoa. Don't move so fast. We'll use one on that guy, one on this thing here. And we'll use another one on the. Oh, oops. <laughs> Oh well, we lose another one. We'll see what happens. And we'll move time again. Well, we're getting a lot of items, that's for sure. You just let this run or what? So many seed of mutations now. <laughs> yeah, we're getting more LG. Uh, oh, we got a seed of life too. Oh, well. I was actually planning on using that here. To see what happens, but. Uh, <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, we got so many of these, might as well use them all. Where did the other guys go? The, the sort of the jellyfish kind of things. I can't see the most anymore. And we'll go back here. As you might notice on my voice, I'm getting a little bit impatient. <laughs> See the mutation has emerged. Can we get something else now, uh, please? Seed of evolution has emerged. Yeah, have you oh, seed of evolution, okay. Is that new? 
Let's take a look what that does. Yay! Maybe if we raise the land a little bit. Would that help? This would lower the temperature to 35 degrees. Oh. Let's take a look at uh, this. Yeah, this is the one I wanted to use. Now something will happen here, maybe. We got this one. Seed, of and seed that promotes evolution in existing organisms. Okay. <laughs> Not twice in the same thing. Okay. Well. And now something is bound to happen. Yeah, there you go. Colonia. Well, that took a little bit. <laughs> Colonia was born. Good job. Here are three seeds of evolution. There's a limit to the number of items you can hold, so use them carefully. Thank you. Next I want you to birth an El Rothia. Oh, we already got those. We got the head of the game. Do you know what a trilobite is? No, I don't think I know. El Rothia is an ancient trilobite. It's an Arthropod that swims and scuttles along the... Oh, we already got that one. Shallows of roughly 48 degrees. Wow. Minimum of 54. Yeah, we already got that. Somehow we got these first before we got this one somehow. You can easily burp a species using an item and it may be better to shape the terrain. I have a feeling that as soon as I hit C, then we uh, hit the next stage. Uh, here, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, game, your, uh, your tutorial isn't scripted well enough. <laughs> El Rafia was born. Great, it looks like you're getting the hang of this. Yeah, I am. I did great. Finally you made it so far, now it's time to move from water to dry land. Oh, that's interesting. You must burn the first organism to move to land. Barak. Well, okay, you guys really want to hear me say this right. Barak Wanafia. Almost time. If it goes well, you'll be able to return to your world. Okay type of fern that breathes on land. Oh, okay. Traveling far from its birthplace, it's the first life form that migrated to land. Low land of 31, 41 degrees, minimum 6,000 salunia. Oh, we don't have that yet. A moisture 15%. Uh, yeah, 41 might be a bit of a thing here. Need to lower land maybe for that. These are conditions for birth. Small recovery leaves. Now let's begin. Okay. Uh, we now got an air temperature of the plant 41, animal 60%. Oh well, these guys have to grow first, so. Uh, Let's pick up our items first. 
and capture this guy here. Yay! A seaweed that lives in very hot shallows alongside stromal delights can be found after breeding cyclo medusa. Okay. Maybe we should use the thing on. Let's take a look. So we got seed of evolution, we got this thing here. Seed of mutation. And we got three of these that will probably heal my... I'm afraid to click on them because I might... Oh, here, right. F and G. F and H, I should say. Uh, yeah, I believe that recovers 200 HP. Algae almost spread, it may appear in the cube. Okay. Well, let's use one of these. Let's see how this thing is doing. Well, there isn't much happening here. The other pool. Let's use one of these on this guy. And one of these. Not quite sure what the difference is. Let's read the creates mutated forms of organism. Use a seed of life or a seed of evolution. It will appear in a cube. It seeds to that promotes evolution. Okay. Well. Uh, Let's go back to macro mode and uh, well let's see what happens yeah the salunia are growing no there's sure uh, 810 1200 oh there's an exclamation mark el Rafia is on the verge of extinction really how come? And is that a bad thing you might want to wonder? <laughs> I don't know. Let's take a look. I'm a feeling that I'm supposed to shape the terrain now. Because the guy said that... Uh, oh, it's 37 degrees. Uh, What happens if I connect these two though? That might be an idea. Let's make the cursor a little bigger. No! <laughs> there you go. See, now the temperature is going through a uh, rise a little bit we want more sea though that's the thing <laughs> that will make the temperature rise uh, somehow no no I can't lower it yeah there it is You always can. Uh, conditions for Barguena water 41 degrees, lowlands moisture 15%. Where is the water 41 degrees though? Okay, thank you. Oh, we need 6,000 of the other guys. Okay. We're nowhere near that. Let's see where it is. Uh, Here, have some mutation. <laughs> yeah, we'll better uh, let this run for a little bit. Why is this blinking though? That's so weird. Anyway. 
Whoa. We did get a different beep there. Yeah, look, these are now uh, prospering. <laughs> are they now? Yeah, there you go. 47. Now they're sort of a. Uh, no, they're still growing. My HP is almost gone. Yay, there you go. Finally, you've birthed Barak. Uh, well, well, what's his face? Just capture it and you're home free. Until then, you're free to do as you please. Just so, just capture it whenever you are ready. So this is goodbye then. What? Oh, nothing. Now go, go on. Yeah, it's not a game yet, is it? <laughs> Let's uh, zoom in again. First of all, let me use the, uh, the, the recovery leaf. Yay! Let's just use all our uh, items for one last thing there. Whoa! We did get a new thing that does a thing. Let's take a look. Uh, global cooling, okay. It may appear in the average temperatures above 15 degrees. Okay. Yeah, there it is, the little fern there on the... Yeah, well, as soon as we capture it, this will be over, so... Maybe we can make more, it would be kind of cool. We'll just let this evolve for a little bit. We connect these all. That might be interesting. Uh, now get rid of that. Now we make our cursor bigger. There you go. Now everything is connected. And we'll just let time run. For a little bit just to see what happens you know oh there's more stuff coming oh there's more species look at that that stuff is happening yeah the world is turning green oh that's cool oh wait now bad things are happening <laughs> oh the old rough fiat that we got in the start is now gone these are the guys that we're supposed to capture. Okay. Anyway, this uh, episode is running along. I think we wrapped it up nicely. So we'll uh, capture these new ones. Whoa. All kinds of items now. Ah, now it's starting to become a little... It started off a little slow. Uh, thanks for bearing with me. <laughs> and see me struggle with the controls. I might probably try to control her next time uh, anyway look at all the green stuff that we uh, have here that's kind of cool pick up all the items just because we can oh there's more red here yeah we can capture any one of these there you go Yay! A plant that grows on land as Salunia and Simon proliferated throughout the sea. This species began to adapt to life on the land. I thought it was fish crawling out of the ocean. This is kind of weird.
You did it. Mission complete. Our time together was brief, but I'm grateful to you. I couldn't have done this on my own. Now go back to your world. Episode clear. Yo. Captured all possible organisms. Yeah, because the game ended without... Uh, well... <laughs> Capture the nine star organism. Oh, so you can continue and then. Yeah, okay. Good. Okay. Free play mode available. Oh, that sounds interesting. This is the story mode, I guess. Is this all a dream? No, it can't be. After all, I am in a cave right now. I should hurry home, I thought, as I followed the light. But when I stepped outside, I couldn't believe my eyes. The trees before me resembled thick ferns and were clearly different from the trees I had walked by previously. What is going on? Have I been taken to another world? Perhaps I should take a look around. Okay, and with this I'll uh, end this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll continue playing this. And uh, see you again next time. Bye-bye.